In this video, we're going to look at how the weather works, or, to be slightly more technical, the six principles of weather physics. Now, don't panic, this isn't school, and there isn't an equation in sight. So, let's look at our first principle, principle 1. And our first principle is quite straightforward. Take this cannonball, it's fired into the air. We know it must come down somewhere. So our first principle says that what goes up must come down. And this applies to air parcels in exactly the same way that it does to cannonballs or anything else that you throw up in the air. If a parcel of air is lifted in one place, then it must come back down to the surface of the earth somewhere else. Principle 2. The sun is the ultimate driving force of the weather. Without the sun, we would have no weather at all. And it's the imbalance of heating generated by the sun, for example, heating during the day and cooling off at night, or even changing seasons, that drives the weather. Principle 3. And this relates to temperature. Cold air is dense. You can think of it as being quite heavy, although technically this isn't correct. It's best just to stick with these phrases, that cold air is dense. Warm air is less dense. So, if you put warm air and cold air together, there's a tendency for the cold air to sink and the warm air to rise, a little like oil and water. Just remember, cold air is dense and warm air is less dense. Principle 4. Air will flow from high to low pressure. Now it doesn't flow just directly from that area of high to that area of low pressure. No, it's somewhat deflected due to various effects. But just think of it as air flowing from high to low pressure. I call this the vacuum cleaner effect, because when you switch on a vacuum cleaner, effectively what the cleaner is doing is creating an area of low pressure inside it. So the higher air pressure outside forces its way into the vacuum cleaner. Principle 5 Air is simply a liquid that is trying to achieve equilibrium. The atmosphere acts exactly the same way as any other liquid. If you look at water flowing in a stream, it flows in one particular direction. But what it's trying to do is to flatten itself out and achieve its ideal state. It wants to be in equilibrium. Of course, the atmosphere can never achieve this, partly because of the rotation of the Earth and other disturbances that are taking place within it. But just think to yourself that the air is always trying to achieve a perfect balance. And finally, Principle 6. This relates to the way that the winds flow. And in the Northern Hemisphere, the winds blow in a clockwise direction around areas of high pressure. They will blow in an anti-clockwise direction around areas of low pressure. In the southern hemisphere, it's the other way around. The winds blow in an anti-clockwise direction around high pressure in the southern hemisphere. Around low pressure, they'll blow in a clockwise direction in the southern hemisphere. So let's just recap our six principles of weather physics. Principle 1. What goes up must come down. Principle 2. The sun is the ultimate driving force of the weather. Principle 3. Cold air is dense, warm air is less dense. Principle 4. Air flows from high to low pressure. Principle 5. Air is a fluid trying to achieve equilibrium. 
and principle 6, in the northern hemisphere, winds blow anti-clockwise around low pressure and clockwise around high pressure. You need to reverse these for the southern hemisphere. And there you go, the principles of weather physics. See, you didn't need to be this chap to understand it. Thanks for watching.